Hey there, everybody. Michael here. And today I want to talk to you about improving interaction and engagement. Now, this is especially important in our virtual situation, right? I know a lot of teachers have told me or maybe even complained to me that they find it tough to engage their students, that they just sort of tune out, that maybe they look a little bit like this with a coffee cup in front of them. Maybe they shouldn't have coffee, but you know what I mean. They're just sort of sitting there like, uh, more screen time. This is not a fun way to engage in school. So today I'm going to talk to you about a feature tool called Kahoot. Now Kahoot is awesome because it doesn't improve interaction and engagement. It's game-based and it works really well both inside the classroom in a physical setting, which we'll all be back to at some point, and as well in the virtual world, which is probably how you'll want to use it starting today. Kahoot is used by millions of people around the world. And the upside to that is there are millions of options and games to borrow from, which I'll talk about in a moment. So it's a super popular platform that's been used by a lot of people and well-tested. So we know it's going to work in your classroom. At least I know it does for sure in mine. With Kahoot, you can create your own types of games. Now, these games might look like this. It might be a quiz. You could do true, false, open-ended, puzzles, polls. Or if you have your own slides, you can insert your own slides and put your own quiz questions in there if you want to. Or just do other things with your own slides to make it more interesting. However, you're not stuck with just your own stuff. You can uh, borrow stuff because millions of people use it. So there's literally millions of games available. So for example, I thought, hey, wouldn't it be fun to have a Kahoot about cookies? And look at that, 342,000 people have put in cookie Kahoots. Crazy, huh? It's totally crazy. Anyways, uh, it looks something like this. You can play live uh, in your classroom and when you're in the physical world, like I mentioned before, or you can play it on Zoom or Google Meet or whatever you like to use. So it's something like this. This will pop up. You'll uh, Students will go to uh, website kahoot.it. They're going to enter this code here, and then you're going to see the names pop up. When all the names have popped up and you're ready to go, then you click through and you start playing the game. It's a lot of fun. I like to narrate it as I go, and it just brings the whole class I find back together and gives them a good mental break and a good mental boost. Now, if you're teaching completely asynchronously or just as another option, you can do it this way where you assign the challenge and kids complete it on their own. So check it out. That's today's featured tool, Kahoot. Other ones that are similar, probably not quite as fun, but they do have their own uses for sure, are WooClap, Socrative, and Mentimeter. Enjoy.